Support for this episode comes from Modern Football Technology. Modern Football Technology provides real-time opponent tendencies and self-scout while eliminating manual data entry into Huddle, DV Sport, and Exos. If you're tired of tools that are time-consuming to learn and perform inconsistently at best, then we recommend Modern Football for a fresh perspective. Schedule a demo today at teammofo.com to see a battle-tested tool that's proven to perform and deliver value. Mention Coach and Coordinator Podcast or use the coupon code CC10 to receive 10% off your first year. And listen to our recent episode featuring Folsom High School Defensive Coordinator Jordan Ersick to learn more about how the 2023 California State Champion uses modern football to dominate their opponents. When you're able to roll a fullback in there and you're able to get a loaded box, that's going to free up and get you some single coverage on out in space and an opportunity to develop space in the defense. And by doing so through hard play actions, it's an opportunity for big plays. As we kick off the official beginning of training camp for the NFL, we pulled a segment from the 2023 Cool Clinic with Carmen Brasillo, offensive line coach for the Las Vegas Raiders. Coach Brasillo has been able to climb the ranks, getting his start at the high school level in Indiana, then working his way up through small college into the FBS and eventually the NFL. In this segment, he shares the benefits of using the fullback in the offense and shares an overview of three schemes, the lead draw, sprint boss, and toss crack. If you don't use a fullback, it's worth the listen. And if you coach defense, you may want to tune in as well because the fullback is making his way back into the game across all levels. Enjoy this one from the Cool Clinic, which starts with some insight from Coach Wiley. What you see on tape is a direct reflection of what you teach and how you teach. Video is important, but if you don't teach well, you're not going to like what you see on your video. First Down Playbook has been helping coaches teach better for 13 years. It allows you to present installs, playbooks, and practice cards in half the time with NFL quality. Coaching tools like video pairing, a player app, practice schedules, and wristband sheets have made First Down Playbook a program management system with everything in one place. If you're in a position of leadership with your football program, receive a free one-week look at First Down Playbook. Call them at 512-814-6158 or visit them on their website or social media. Mention Coach and Coordinator Podcast, or use the coupon code COACH24 to receive a $100 discount off the normal $700 First Down Playbook team membership price. Links and the phone number are in the show notes. Our last speaker for today, and you really enjoyed this young man. Tommen was at at Youngstown State, and then he he got on with the New England Patriots as a, a coaching assistant. He ended up uh, helping out Dante, right? And then it was, he was a co-offensive line coach then, and they gave him a seat. I mean, now he went from New England to Las Vegas with Josh, doing a wonderful job out there. Another fine, great, good teacher of the game, all those fancy words, all right? But he can get it from the what, guys? The chalkboard to the grass. That's what all that matters, all right? Now, I'm going to give you guys another words of wisdom. Okay, I've been doing this for all the speakers, right? Words of wisdom. The first one I gave you, the problem with knowing everything is you can't learn anything new, right? Right. Then the second one I gave you was teach them. Don't tell them. There's a big difference in that. Right. Then the third one I gave you is learn before you compete. Learn before you compete. Right. You got your meetings, you got your walkthrough, you got your individual. And then usually the next period after individual, you got to go compete. Well, you better know it by then before you compete. Players and coaches. Then I gave you. What you don't tell them is just as important as what you do tell them. Because if you try to awe them with all your knowledge, and it usually happens with the younger coaches that are trying to press a rookie or a new recruit, okay, you're going to fuck that kid up. You're going to mess that kid all up. Just give him what he needs to know at that point in time. That's it. No more. All right? And then you add a little bit more to it. Okay? All right. Now, the next one I'm going to give you is... Greatness is a choice. Greatness is a choice. If you right, choose to be great, you're going to work your way towards that. Greatness is a choice. You just don't become great. You're not just born 
great. Okay, especially in this sport. This sport, you have to learn this sport. You don't see any kids in three-point stances running around the ball fields, ball box. You don't see any guys kick stepping and power stepping and backing up and doing those type of things, right? This whole game is taught from the beginning for the offensive linemen. It's all unnatural. Greatness, you want to be great, that's your choice. In order to make that choice, then you've got a lot of work to do and you've got a long road ahead of you. Okay, so write that one down. Greatness is a choice. Colin, you got to go. Coach, much appreciated. Gentlemen, everybody out there, I, I, first thing, let me say, I wish this son of a bitch was at, uh, you know, we were in Cincinnati and we were all just getting done. We're getting ready to have a few beers after we get done talking some ball, but it is what it is. And welcome to the new century. So before I jump into everything, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank all you guys. You know, since I got back, I found my way back to coaching and football about 20 some odd years ago. And and I've either been in attendance or, or buying the DVDs or the downloading the videos and uh, there's so many of you coaches, Bob, obviously you and, and all the veterans of this. And then guys that I've worked with and or worked for, Brian Callahan, who I know was a presenter, you know, Eric Wolford. There's too many guys for me to, to, to list that I'm indebted to that, that have got me to this point. And, and I just really want to say I appreciate it. And, and lastly, I'll say I appreciate our assistant office line coach here, Cam uh, Clemens here, who helped put this presentation together. But more importantly, he helps me run this group here. As you can see here, guys, my goal for this is, is give you guys a, a wide berth of what we believe in at Las Vegas Raiders in the system that we're in. And a part of that in the run game, especially, is going to be having a fullback. So when Coach Wiley asked me to speak at this, I didn't think anything more. So the idea behind this, th these concepts, I'm going to give a wide berth of, of concepts because I think really as you use the utilization and what makes being, you know, using fullbacks in, in the run game so special is the fact that you can attack the width and breadth. So I'm going to hit the width and breadth of schemes here. It's going to be a big picture, guys. There's not going to be able to get into detail in the time that it takes on each one of these schemes. As we all know here as O-line coaches, we could detail out and talk about one scheme for the next two days. But I'm going to give you a wide berth. I'm going to try to give you as much information as I can. By all means, stop me or interject wildly. If I'm, Bob, if I'm not doing something, uh, explain something clearly. Um, and when we get done with that then, Hopefully you have enough information that you can go then and actually expand upon it. This summer, go ahead and use PFF and download our tape or old tape of, New, of Dante at New England and say, okay, hey, I want to incorporate this into what we do wherever we're at. So without further ado, just kind of let me um, start it off here. So just in general for us, why do we use the fullback, guys? And for us here with the Raiders, number one, we're a firm believer in the fact that using a fullback is going to help us establish toughness. And there's no question in that regard. Like we use that as an attitude for us and an identity for our team, not just the offensive line and our run game, but the entire team. Number two, and we firmly believe in this. And again, this is how we believe. You can establish a tough team. And we saw it this year in the playoffs and every year that there are other ways to do it. You don't necessarily need a fullback to do that. But this is what we believe. When you put the fullback on the field, you we expect to get base defense. And oftentimes then that can simplify or limit the fronts that you're going to see. It's not all that common anymore, especially some of the schemes that we run with the nature of the fullback that we have. And therefore, then it's not something that the defenses are facing all the time through training camp, through mini camp. And then all of a sudden they're trying to get ready for it in one week time and they're trying to learn something new. So it's just not all that common anymore to play with a fullback or have to defend one. We firmly believe in a part of our core philosophy in our game planning would be that we want to be able to attack across the width of the formation, inside to outside the tackle, strong to weak. And I think when you've got a fullback and you can move him around, however you mean, however which way you decide to do it, I think you're able to do that, which is across the width and the breadth of the defense. It's applicable, guys, throughout all situations. You know, there's plenty of, you know, sleepless nights on a Wednesday night trying to figure out a short yardage play or some way to gain one damn yard. But you know, using a fullback in the fullback schemes, that is applicable. It's early downs, it's short yards, it's goal line. And then there's opportunities at big plays. When you're able to roll a fullback in there and you're able to get a loaded box, that's going to free up and get you some single coverage on out in space and an opportunity to develop space in the defense. And by doing so through hard play actions, it's an opportunity for big plays. So next up, the characteristics of the fullback position. I'm going to be very general here. I've never coached the position. I've always been an O-line guy. But the gentlemen that I've seen do this in the NFL, obviously, are going to be physically and mentally tough. Like it's, it's a prerequisite of that. They've got to be a versatile athlete, guys. There's going to be a balance to them. Some may have a little more athleticism. Others may be a little more physical in nature, but they definitely need to be a blended athlete. They're going to have to be smart guys at some level. They're responsible for multiple schemes and multiple assignments. And I would say 
that because of the nature of the position, they're responsible for having good instincts and sometimes having to make things right for the offensive line. What I mean is somebody cuts somebody loose and they've got to fix the mistakes that others may have. And then they're often found, just so you know, they're somewhere on your other, some position on your team. If you don't have that position, you decide, you know what, I want to implement some or all of this, and we need to find a fullback for this because we believe in it. We want to make a move to that. Don't be shocked if you see this guy at another position room on your team. The gentleman that you're going to see on these cut-ups, and forgive me, I've only been here at the Raiders for one year, so a few of the cut-ups will, will, will be sprinkled in for my year. Uh, 2021 as, as the, as the O-line coach at the Patriots. So Jakob was 45. He's 45 here with the Raiders, and he was 47 for us at the Patriots. He's an interesting young man. We talk about coming from somewhere else or somewhere else on your team. Jakob was born and raised in Germany. He came to the States when he was in high school. He played football at the University of Tennessee. I mean, this kid wasn't – it's not as if he wasn't a great athlete and a good football player, but he was that linebacker. And then find himself getting moved to that Y, kind of um, sub-Y, F position uh, while he was there at Tennessee as he came to us as a part of our international program with the NFL. After that, then he ended up on a practice squad with the Patriots, moved to the active roster, and then he was a Pro Bowl player for us this past year for the Raiders. So this young man has done a great job and has done it the right way. And he's, I'd say, a great example of what a fullback is in this league. So just without further ado, I'm just going to jump into our first scheme here. So the first thing I'm going to talk about in general would be lead or lead draw. All right. So for us, this is a downhill run scheme, guys, designed to cut the defense in half. There's an attitude to this. And in its, its simplicity, I think there's beauty, guys. It's a play that attacks the defense immediately, and, and really it can hit the width and breadth of the thing. It can hit from the backside B to the front side D gap. And obviously, you see the initial landmark for the halfback is in the A gap, but he can really hit this anywhere. We're going to use gap double teams and techniques when we get a chance. The fullback on this, and we're going to go through the actual blocking on the looks, but he's got the mic on all looks. And then the call side tackle and tight end have DN to Sam. As coaches, we know that some of the biggest hurdles to our team's success can come from off the field. Your team needs support to tackle the endless list of expenses, uniforms, training equipment, travel, and more. But raising that money can feel like a full-time job. Thankfully, there's Vertical Raise. Vertical Raise is the premier online fundraising platform using innovative technology to create the easiest and most efficient system available. Raise more money in less time with a local fundraising coach who works with your team every step of the way to customize the ideal fundraiser. With options for online donations, digital discount cards, premium product sales, and even spirit shops, Vertical Raise has top-of-the-line solutions for every fundraising style. To find out more, visit verticalraise.com and we'll get you connected with an exclusive offer on your first fundraiser. As I transition now, guys, and I'm going to try to get through a couple more schemes here because I think there's some really good stuff that I stole out and out stole from some of my uh, compatriots here in in the NFL this past year. I'm just going to keep working through. I'm going to briefly go through. Again, we run sprint boss. Obviously, it's a fullback play. It's a wide zone play. The fullback is assigned to block force front side. If you're going to study at wide zone in this league, I think there are some really great teams that do it. We aspire to do it. I wouldn't say by any means we're one of the best, but we, we have it in our we have that club on our bag. I wouldn't say it's my 60 degree loft that I should never pull out, but I would say that obviously from what you saw me lead off with downhill run schemes, we're a little better at, but nevertheless, sprint boss for us was very efficient. It's an opportunity for us to attack the C gap and D gap area immediately. We have a halfback who likes to play. And like I said, we've got a fullback. That, that has a good feel for the play as far as his entry and perhaps how to help a little bit on the way there. Again, we're, we're not going to we're split Adams here. Again, it's the outside leg of the tight end. The fullback's got force. One of the things that we like about this is that because it's a force play, or less heavy lifting for the play side wide receiver. And I know all of us in here have expectations for what that guy is going to do, but we've got a really talented guy that's going to be on the field on every snap. Uh, nobody's going to outwork Devontae. Nevertheless, I'm going to play to his strengths, and and sometimes I'm not going to ask him to just come on down in there and ear hold the uh, strong safety 12 times in a game. So when you've got a boss play here that we can put the fullback then on support, it's a little better for your wide receiver sometimes in that regard. This is a great play that we can run it out of both slot and pro, and then again, it's a scheme that we can move the tight end around. The nature of the play allows us to play with some formations and build some formations And I think there's some really good teams that do that. And if if you'd like my opinion on some of the teams that do a great job of building formations in a wide zone scheme, I gladly tell you because there's some great ones out there in the NFL. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. 
I want to get through this series because I think this, A, this is something that has been good to me all the way back to my college coaching time. It's something I've always believed in. And again, going back to that Alex Gibbs thought process of if you can't spend and invest enough time in wide zone, don't do it. And I spent a lot of my years believing that. I was at the pool clinic, George Warhop. Coach Warhop talked about his Tosh Crack series, and I, I took carbon copy from him, went back, studied my ass off, got a bunch of other tape, and we did Tosh Cracks. And then, obviously, as I got hired at New England, it's something they've always done there, and we still continue that tradition here with the Raiders. I believe the Tosh Cracks lend well, and obviously with a fullback, you can do that with a, with a tight end body. But, again, I'm talking about fullback and fullback play. Now, obviously, those ISO leads sometimes don't necessarily fit a 6'5", 6'6", tight end as much. So but we do the Tosh Cracks. Uh, we do them out of all of our, across of our personnel groupings. But as it applies to the fullback here, it's a perimeter play, multiple variants. And that's what I really want to push through and make sure we get to. With our boss crack, we've got two crack blockers. They're obviously going to block and look to seal the defenders inside. Typically, and I say typically because there's some good schemes, but I'm going to have an opportunity to show you some things to kind of play off of that. Where we have a front side offensive lineman, and he's going to be pulling, obviously, for a per- perimeter player. We'll use toss ball handling, obviously, in an effort to attack the perimeter of the defense as quickly as possible. I mean, again, as this fits, we th- we started talking about in the very beginning, guys, we want to be able to attack downhill from the A-gaps to the widths of the defense, and we're doing that with a fullback. And that mindset. So this obviously, Tosh Cracks, you would like to have this in your repertoire because obviously you need to be able to stretch the field and you can do that quickly with toss ball handling and crack element to it. And then obviously the rest of the offensive linemen are going to be using wide zone techniques and calls and principles from that. Here are our winning edge takeaways and ideas for implementation. One, don't dismiss the idea of using a fullback without some consideration first. Take a look at your roster and see if you can identify a guy or two who fits the characteristics that Coach Brasillo outlined. If you have him, then consider how many reps you might be willing to give him a game at fullback if you were to use him. Two, fit the fullback into what you do. If you utilize the inside zone, it becomes insert zone with a slight variance in rules for the combos. Or he can be the blocker kicking out the backside on split zone. He could escort the quarterback on read zone blocking a level 2 defender. You could use him on the outside zone to block force. If you use gap schemes, he can become the kickout blocker on the power or the wrapper on the counter. Be simple with your tags and be sure the offensive line knows what the tag does to adjust their assignment. 3. Use the fullback situationally. Now you have a go-to short yardage and goal line package with a fullback. You can use the fullback on early downs as well and use the package to set up big plays. The fullback may not be for you, but take a look at it before you dismiss it. If you decide to use him, then be sure to devote enough time throughout camp so that you can get these packages ready. Thanks for tuning into the Coaching Coordinator Podcast. Be sure to follow all we do at coachingcoordinator.com and follow me on Twitter at Coach K Grabowski.